Since 2006 to 2007, when the West Houston Center was first formed, the, the, the mission of the center was to promote and enhance science and engineering education. I can remember very vividly, Butch and I went and launched out to chat with Ann, and we were, we were talking about the, kind, the kinds of things that, that we wanted to do. And, you know, over, over the last three, three or four years, um, it's taken a while for the center to really find, find its own, to figure out really what, what is it that, that, we, that we can really do best? And what is it that we do that actually does enhance and promote science and engineering education? To segue a little bit from what Maya was saying, you know, at, at some point there was, a, there was a differential between being in workforce and being in science and engineering. Those days are over. If you talk about science and engineering, you talk about someone that wants to go and that, that, that wants a job, that is part of work. And so, you know, what, what we need to do is think about kind of a structure where you talk about how does HCC provide uh, education? How does that education translate into knowledge? How does that knowledge then promote innovation? How does that innovation then translate into economic development, the uh, infrastructure that, that goes back and, and supports education? So you have a nice little feedback. So there's, there's lots of things that, that, that we do, but the, but the big challenge, and I'm going to go somewhat out of order, which I'm sure people expect it to have. Um, the big challenge is how do we get our arms around STEM? Because STEM is, a, as I was telling it, STEM is kind of a multi-headed beast, and it can get away from you really quickly. So what you have to do is figure out where, what are our best and highest where, you know, where do we have our highest and best resources? What's STEM? How do, how do we apply those? STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. You know, I, just let me digress for a little bit. I was at a HCC foundation meeting, and I started using STEM, and, say, and, and, and the folks at the foundation were saying, I didn't know you were doing work in STEM cells. So I said, when are you doing that? <laughs> so, and, and you know, and it's interesting. People have a lot of different interpretations of what STEM is, but also what science and, and the engineering is. But let me just tell you about the direction that the West Houston Center is going. And probably the best way to do that is, is, to, is to, you know, refer to some of the handouts that I've given you. Um, I've given you a couple handouts. One refers to its, and I think this, this is probably in the back. Can I? This is a... Uh, This is, a, this is a panel that I had an opportunity to serve on with the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. And what it was all about is how do you provide a transition, a, a defined transition from the community college to the university for a student that wants to become a mechanical engineer? You know, you would think, well, that's not rocket science here. I mean, this is something that should be in place and things, and think, things are done. No, it wasn't. So there is a there is a there is an effort going on within the, within the legislature within the administration at the state at the state government level. How do we get community colleges and, and the universities cooperating with each other that provides value to the students so we can get those students moving from the community college to the university into the workforce and and, be, and become tax paying citizens. Um, so this is a really interesting compact. It's a voluntary compact, and in the compact you'll see a list of the universities and the community colleges that have signed on to that, of which HEC is one. Of interest is who didn't sign the contract. And I'll let you look at that. You can sort of think about that some way. Uh, I'm not, not going to name names, but it becomes very apparent who is on it and who is not on it. Um, the other part of this is um, one of the things that we do at the center is we have, we've had a program since uh, 2005. And this is, as Butch was, 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 was mentioning, what are the transformative programs that, a, that H, H, HCC offers? Well, one of those programs is a program where we send generally students that are, do, that are in the transition from their um, 
sophomore year into their junior year. They're interested in STEM, interested in science, interested in engineering, interested in mathematics, interested in, in, in uh, computational science. But no one has ever told them, this is the avenue that you take to really fulfill your, your interest and talent. So that's what, that's what this program does. We send our students, we send them to, to Rice University, the University of Houston, the Johnson Space Center. We're now expanding that uh, through a number of uh, grants that we have now. It's including the University of Texas at Tyler, Purdue University, and the National Labs, et cetera, et cetera. People out, you know, people out in the hinterlands, you know, besides Houston, really interested in HCC students. They're interested in them for the, for the reputation that they have, but they're interested also in the demographic profile of our students. So that, that also becomes very, very important. Uh, some of the other information that you have in there are some grants that we've recently received, one from the Department of Homeland Security. Again, Homeland Security was, was going out and looking at this, and this was a first time grant where they said, how can we get community colleges involved in homeland security issues? So you say, why do they want to do that? Because the people, whether it's at homeland security, whether it's at the Department of Defense or uh, Army National Labs, Navy National Labs, etc., Navy Research Labs, they they want to go after community college students because they know that is a source of talent. The problem that we have at the community college is trying to get students to understand that they are talented. They are, they are knowledgeable. Okay. They can move forward in ways that they never really expected. So one of the things that we're doing with the Homeland Security Grant is that uh, Homeland Security is paying tuition fees, $950 a month stipend, research stipend over a summer, to basically let them go out and expand their horizons. HCC, and, and I think some of the things that are going to be happening in the, in the future, you'll probably see a lot more happening at the uh, community college level, where it, it serves as the, as the foundation, as the, as the uh, nurturing base for getting community college students to, to move into the science and engineering workforce, not just with respect to undergraduate degrees, but really strong pushes in terms of, of, of graduate degrees as well. That's, that's the key, letting, letting our students know what's going on. Uh, there's, there's another grant that we just got, uh, uh, similar to the uh, grant that Maya got from the Chancellor, the Chancellor's Innovation Award. The one that the, what we're doing with that award is this is the opportunity for students to go from ACC to University of Houston to Baylor College of Medicine. Again, what are the pathways involved? Now, what are the challenges that I have? I see my time is probably way past too. The challenges that we have is how do we keep the West Houston Center focused on doing the things that it does best. So many opportunities that are that are tempting to look at that you really have to be disciplined to say, this is what we do best, this is where we're going to be, this is the road we're going to move, move move down. And I have no idea where the, where we're going to be in 10 years, except that instead of serving six students for a DHS grant, we'll probably be looking at 60 or 70 or Lots of opportunities, lots of doors that can be open for students. And these are, you know, and I think that that, that the perception is that community that, that community college students are where you go when you're really not smart enough to get into universities. That's changed, not changing. It's changed. And the kinds of programs that you see happening at, at, at Northwest College and at the other ACC campuses, I think, is really evident. 